Hey guys, coming at you with another video log. Just giving you an update on training, uh, how everything else is going, and just uh, a few things on my mind. Uh, I'm in my vehicle, this is the, uh, the Batmobile. Uh, you know, it's being productive while in your car, I think it's, it's good to uh, get busy in your car. So, I uh, wanted to give you an update. Uh, ten and a half weeks out from my competition. Uh, feeling good. I uh, just got done doing some intervals, some high intensity intervals, which that's beyond, that's the best way to lose body fat. Uh, if you've watched our blog, uh, we put an article out recently about it. High intensity interval training hit very good to burn body fat. I did some t uh, rope work when the battle ropes where you're throwing them on the ground and then I uh, do the for 40, 40 wax, whatever you want to call it, um, about 30 seconds. Then I went over to the elliptical and that was my, my interval. The elliptical is my cool down. So cranked out a bunch of those. It's kind of fun, uh, something different, not to mention I did squats and deadlifts this morning, so my legs and knees are a little trashed right now, so the uh, upper body gets the, the brunt of it, which is kind of a nice way to give the legs a break, but yet still spike my, my metabolism and my heart rate. So uh, today went good. I did squats 295 for sets of 8, 5 sets of 8, then did 415 on deadlifts for sets of 4. Feeling strong, uh, bodies feel good, little fatigue. I struggled yesterday a little bit on bench press. I got my reps in, but uh, I, I can start to feel it to be more of a challenge. Body weight's going down about 159. Broke through that 160, so I feel I feel good. Got out my pictures last night from back in 2009 when I won my pro card, and um, that's that's the goal for me right now is to, to to get even better condition than I was then. So that was four years ago. Hard to believe it's been that long, but um, but right now I feel like I'm on track. So, um, you know, one of the things that I wanted to talk about was I, I know some people that are going through some struggles right now. I mean, and we all are. We all got struggles. And I wanted to, I had a little analogy that I that came into my head. And it, it, it's in regards to working towards a goal. Now, it doesn't have to be bodybuilding or weightlifting or even fitness related for that matter. Just going for your goals. And I like to uh, compare it to swimming across a river. All right? So swimming across a river is, is a challenge because you've constantly got a current that is, is, is going against you. All right? So it's going to make it a challenge. And, and while you're swimming across the river, you know, you're going to you're gonna have obstacles. Now, in a river, there's things that are flowing through it, and, and just like throughout life, you're going to have things that are going to get in your way, and you just got to overcome them. Um, also, when you're, when you're swimming across the river, occasionally you're going to have some uh, yahoo who's going to be floating on a tube and just coasting, just going with the flow, just going right down with the current, and uh, they're going to get in your way. And you just got to avoid those people and, and just keep press, uh, pressing on. Now, while you're, while you're swimming it, uh, across the river, you're going to have people on the side of the bank. They're just going to be watching. You know, they're just going to be watching. Some of these people are going to be cheering you on. You know, those are going to be your friends, your mentors. Those are the people that you want, okay? Uh, but there's going to be other people on the bank, and they're not going to be cheering you on. In fact, they're going to be the guys that are that are jeering at you, laughing at you, uh, having a party. You know, you're going to wish you were there uh, instead of swimming across this river. And those are the people that you just need to ignore and, and just keep pressing through. Now, important point here. Notice I said swimming across the river. You don't want to swim up the river, okay? Swimming upstream is dumb, all right? There is a few people that could maybe do it, but if you're swimming upstream, you're probably not going to get to your destination, all right? And that's important. That goes back to goal setting, all right? So if your goal that you've set makes you swim up the river, probably not a good goal, all right? Not saying it's unattainable, but finding one that causes you to swim across the river, it's going to be a challenge, but it's reachable, all right? So 
again, you know, just swimming across the river, you know, occasionally when you're in that river, you, you'll be able to walk, you know, you'll find a, like a sandbar and you'll be able to walk and it'll be easy. Occasionally you're going to go through some deep water, you ain't going to be able to touch and you're just going to be, you know, swimming for your life, uh, but you'll get through it, you know, so all of these things, just keep in mind, you know, as you're going for your goals, there's going to be obstacles, there's going to be trials, there's going to be people out there that support you, there's going to be people that don't support you, um, and just, just keep plugging, you know, you got to keep moving, you got to keep kicking, otherwise you're going to fall back and, and, and you're not going to hit your goal. So, uh, it, just a scenario in my head, you know, these little things that pop in my head, voices when you're doing cardio and lifting and, and, and driving in the Batmobile, things like that. So, um, again, stay tuned. Things are going well. I appreciate the followers, and uh, we'll have more videos for you soon.